A weather front is a point where two air masses of different temperatures and different densities meet, but do not mix. Typically, when a front passes over an area, this results in a change in the weather. There are four types of fronts. Cold fronts, warm fronts, stationary fronts, and occluded fronts. A cold front is where cold air pushes up against warm air. A cold front is represented on a weather map with a blue line with blue triangles pointing toward the warmer air. When a cold front passes over an area, it usually brings heavy rain as warm, moist air is forced up into the atmosphere. This also usually brings with it heavy clouds and even thunderstorms. Within an hour of a cold front passing over a location, the temperature can drop upwards of 15 degrees. Cold fronts also typically have high winds associated with them. The dew point observed also typically drops, and cold fronts typically move from northwest to southeast. Cold fronts also usually move faster than warm fronts. A warm front is where warm, moist air is pushing against cold, dry air. When a warm front passes over an area, there is typically a slow transition from colder to warmer air and temperatures. A warm front is represented on a weather map with a red line, with red semicircles pointing in the direction of movement or into the cold air. Warm fronts move more slowly than cold fronts, and they lead to a slow, gradual rising of the air. When a warm front passes over an area, there are a few predictable weather changes. The temperature will usually rise. There will also typically be a drop in air pressure. Because of the slow, gradual rising of this air, they can bring rain with them as well, but it's typically much lighter than that found at a cold front. And a steady rise in the dew point because of the incoming moist air. Warm fronts also usually have a change in wind direction from east to south or southwest. A stationary front happens when two air masses meet, but neither is strong enough to replace or force out the other. This type of front is represented by a mix of red semicircles and blue triangles which are pointing in opposite directions. Stationary fronts often stay in one spot for an extended amount of time and they can include clouds and extended precipitation depending upon the type of fronts involved. Stationary fronts can be changed into another type of front when another air mass moves into the area. An occluded front takes place when a cold front overtakes a warm front. Low pressure systems usually form with a warm front and a cold front behind it. And since cold fronts typically move faster than warm fronts, they can catch up to the warm front, creating an occluded front. An occluded front typically separates the cool air in front of the warm front and the new, colder air behind the cold front. When an occluded front passes over an area, the temperature and the dew point will usually drop. And the wind direction will usually change from south or southeast to north or northeast. Occluded fronts can also have variable amounts of rain or precipitation. 